Uh, Jay Flores is the National Undergraduate Student Representative. And if I can have uh, Jay come up and we can share a few words with him. Uh, thank you, Serafin. So, um, as Serafin mentioned, I'm the National Undergraduate Representative of the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. And uh, like we mentioned, our new mission now starts with the word, SHIP changes lives. So I'd like to share with you guys how SHIP has impacted my life. Um, this May, um, I am currently a senior studying mechanical engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And this May, I'll be the first male in the Flores family to graduate from college and I will be the first engineer on either side of the family. And I owe that to, to two groups. First, to my family, of course, that's where it all started, but then second, definitely to SHIP. So I was lucky enough that I did have a family that they gave me two options, college or college. <laughs> um, but the path there and what I would do once I got there wasn't always clear. So that path was set, and I'll never forget this day. Uh, one day, my father, asked me to come out into the yard, and uh, we had this giant pile of sand from an old pool that we used to have. And he asked me and, uh, to move it from one side of the yard to the other side of the yard. It's about this big and pretty wide. So I spent a couple hours you know, shoveling it into the wheelbarrow, moving it across the yard, and then putting it on the other side. And when I was done, I finally I went up to him, I told him I was done, and I asked him, why, why do you need it on this side? It seemed like a really weird part of the yard and he said, he smiled and he said, you don't want to do the hard work that you did right now for a living. So take care of the hard work now and get your college degree. So that was ingrained in my mind. But the one thing that my parents couldn't do for me is my father hadn't graduated from college. And my mother graduated but she's a psychologist. So she didn't know what a derivative was. Or she didn't know how, they didn't understand why I was up late studying and, and doing all these things. They, I entered college without that. They got me from diapers to high school diploma and were ready to hand off the baton. And fortunately, SHIP was there to grab the baton for me. So when I entered SHIP, I barely knew how to tie a tie. I didn't know anything about professional development or leadership development. I didn't know that I needed an internship um, and that I could get one the summer of my freshman year. SHIP within nine months, grabbed me and molded me into a national board of director. Um, nine months after I was first grabbed by SHIP, I was nominated by the national board of directors to serve as the representative for the undergraduates. So I call it something, a passion that I had and certain skill sets that I didn't know I had and help, SHIP helped me find that and helped me mold them and utilize them so that I could become something better. And uh, the biggest thing for me, though, and what I've learned um, throughout, this is my, now my third year on the National Board of Directors as either the vice or national undergraduate representative, is that SHIP teaches you that it's something about more than just your personal success. So SHIP taught me to lift as I climbed. And SHIP taught me to serve as a role model for my community. And through that is where I have really accelerated, because I had to because I needed to serve as that role model. And I was able to accelerate my development. And uh, my proudest moment in SHIP came um, about two years ago. I studied abroad at the University of Puerto Rico, Maya West, and I spent nine months with my uh, younger cousin. He was eight at the time. And he, um, single child, single mother. So a tough situation growing up in Puerto Rico with just the mother and, and everything. and. Um, after he saw everything I was doing with SHIP, and he knows what SHIP stands for, um, about a year after, he called me. So he's about nine years old, and he, t he asked me if he could share what he wanted to be when he grew up. I said, of course, I want, I want to know. Number one was, uh, he gave me three, three things. Number one was a video game designer. That one doesn't count, because every, every little kid wants to do that. I wanted to be a crossing guard when I was growing up. <laughs> so uh, number two, was an engineer at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So that you know, brought several tears to my eyes and started to really show me the power of SHIP. The third one was a, a baseball player at the University of Wisconsin. We don't even have a baseball team, so <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. And 
Um, so I, he asked me, you know, what did I think? I was like, I think you'd be a great engineer. He's a very bright little kid and he's excited and, and all those things. And he asked me if, if I thought he could do it. Um, and I said, of course. And I'm going to be there, you know, every step along the way. And uh, I promised him that. And I, I can put 100% guarantee on that promise because even if I, um, unfortunately, were to leave this earth tomorrow, I know that the work that the people in this room have been doing and the time that I have volunteered and that the board and the regional student representatives, the presidents of all of our chapters have put in, will ensure that if he doesn't have that support system around him and his family, he knows where to go to get it. And that they will take the baton for him if I can't take it. So that is why I put my time in the ship. That's why when I wake up every day, I volunteer for ship. And um, that is something extremely powerful. And I want to thank you guys, because without the support that we receive from our sponsors and from our universities and, and from the government and academia, I wouldn't be here right now. And uh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to make that promise. And thank you very much for that. Thank you, Jay, for sharing that story uh, with us. Um, we have many more. There's a, a lot of lives that the ship has changed over the year. And as Jay mentioned, uh, the possibility of ship being able to help change these lives is due to the support that you provide to us, to this organization. Um, not only through uh, financial support, but also through guidance, mentorship, leadership, that did you uh, provide to us as, as a board, as, as a board um, and, as, uh, and as friends, because uh, we spend a lot of time together and uh, we build relationships. And we are, we are a lot more than just a business relationship here. Uh, SHIP is a, is a familia and all of you in this room are, are part of it. 